How's it going? This is Brett Evans with Truck Trend Magazine. I'm here with AEV and two of their 20th anniversary special edition vehicles, the uh, AEV JK350 and the AEV Prospector XL. I'm just going to get a little walk around view of these vehicles and uh, show you guys some of the cool details that AEV has built in. So we're here with company CEO Dave Harriton, and he's going to give us a walk around. We're going to start first with the JK350. Dave, why don't you wave hello to the good folks at home? Hey guys, <laughs> guys this is Dave Harriton. He's the CEO of the company, and uh, he's going to talk to us about the JK350 and the Ram Prospector XL or so the Jeep. Yeah, so this is our 20th anniversary package. Um, we're only building 20 of them. Um, essentially, it's one of our nicest Wrangler packages that we do. Um, it's got a few really special um, pieces of content. Um, most of it's aesthetic, just for to celebrate our 20th, but it's going to be the introduction of our new uh, AEV Bora beadlock wheel, which can be run as a traditional beadlock or as a uh, quote-unquote street lock. You can run it either which way, depending on your needs. Um, other special parts of the 20th are the gray um, matte gray bumpers, flares. We've even molded the snorkel in a dark gray instead of the traditional black. Um, we've done the graphic on the side, special roof rack um, just for this package. This vehicle has the 475 6.4 liter V8 out of the SRT. other goodies. Um, so the basic content on this truck is our rear bumper system, which is a 10 uh, gallon of fuel and 5 gallons of water all integrated in. Um, tow points, high lift jack points, a lot of protection for true off-road use, um, backup light, mud flaps, um, these steel corners. Um, are stamped. It's one of the one of the trademark AEV characteristics is uh, we do a lot of stamped steel products. And there's a lot of special badging uh, just specific to the 20th anniversary. And then as the company has grown, um, We've moved into the Ram product line just because a lot of our Wrangler customers were asking for something that could carry a camper or tow a trailer uh, or tow their Jeep uh, for that matter. And so we've gotten into the Prospector line of trucks. Um, this truck includes our three inch suspension and runs a 40 inch tall Toyota tire on a custom AEV wheel. Uh, as well as a front bumper with a worn uh, 16 and a half thousand pound winch. And then the, uh, those toe points are nodular iron, uh, rated at 30,000 pounds a piece. Uh, we did the AEV steel heat reduction hood. Uh, these special flares uh, to run the, to allow the use of 40 inch tires with only a three inch lift. Raised air intake for mostly for dust. Um, there's an optional pre-filter that can come on it, 
And then, of course, it's all the same matching graphics as the Wrangler with the bronze wheels and the dark gray accent uh, and the uh, graphic on the side. Um, other special content for the 20th is the roof rack, or I'm sorry, the bed rack. And there's also some special badging for this truck. So we see both of them here and uh, tell us a bit more about uh, what AEV has been doing for the last 20 years. Sure. Um, one of the things we're most known for is our stamped steel products. So whether it's a sheet metal hood, um, it's, you know, un it's not typical in the aftermarket to have stamped steel products like this. Normally they're fiberglass or plastic. Um, so what AEV is known for and why we've lasted for 20 years is we have this kind of attention to detail and um, kind of trying to emulate OE quality. Um, so we do a lot of this stuff, all this stuff is made in Detroit, Michigan, um, right where the original parts are made and they're made in the same format, the same coating, same testing. Um, the bumpers, unlike most aftermarket bumpers where they're kind of a origami looking steel, uh, these are all stamped and this is heavy gauge even though it looks like it blends in with the car. Um, this is all 3 16 face and all quarter inch steel reinforcements. Um, again, these are cast nodular iron tow hooks. So they're, they have some stuff ductile to them and they're rated and tested for 30,000 pounds of load. Um, the suspension is kind of a big deal on this truck. One of the things ram that we really wanted to do was not be able to lift it and run a 40 inch tire and not um, adversely affect the truck like a lot of aftermarket suspension. Um, to us it was really important to keep this as a vehicle that's able to carry load off-road. Um, we weren't trying to come up with a Baja truck um, or try to make it into something it's not. It was supposed to be an extra large heavy duty version of the Wrangler which is what our customers were asking for. Um, and underneath these chassis are essentially, they're very similar. If you took the bodies off these trucks, this is essentially a scaled up version of the, uh, of the Wrangler chassis. So it really lent itself well to expanding the AEV brand. So what are some of the specs going on here? We talked a little bit about it before, but what's going on in the suspension of these two? Um, on the Wrangler, we have our um, Four and a half inch lift with a 37 inch tall tire. Uh, one of the things that's unique about AEV is um, the team that designs our suspensions actually used to work at Jeep designing Jeep suspensions. So uh, they definitely know what they're doing and um, they're kind of intended to not only work well off road but also. Uh, it's easy to make a Jeep work well off-road, essentially. It's very hard to make it work well on-road and to make it drivable as a daily driver. Um, and that's one of the things we've really succeeded in with our frequency to the springs and a lot of little details um, that we do that other companies just aren't capable of. Um, with the Ram, we took a totally different approach. Um, again, the, the big emphasis with the Ram was to not affect the weight carrying and the load um, ability of the truck and the stability. Of did a whole new approach to the ram suspension that's uh, it kind of came out of a lot of our trips around the world and one of them was the way the guys in Iceland were doing their suspensions um, was unique and we took that and we it had a lot of advantages we took that basic premise and then we kind of productionized it and put engineering behind it you know the guys in Iceland were kind of doing the best they could for one in this case, we took it and we actually put the OE engineering into it and forged our own new steering components and all the parts required to make it actually work extremely well. How about the uh, drivetrains on these ones? Um, the drivetrain on the Ram is essentially stock. Uh, it's just a Cummins, 6.7 liter Cummins um, with the 6-speed automatic. Um, 
gearing's been changed to 430 gears, uh, but essentially stock. The Wrangler, however, I'll show you, uh, one of the things we're known for doing is putting the Hemi's in them. Well, it might be a little dusty. That's the SRT Grand Cherokee powertrain. And essentially we make the kit, we do all the new air conditioning lines, the motor mounts, the wiring harness, the PCM, all the power steering lines, radiator, coolant bottle, air intake, battery tray. We basically remanufacture everything in this engine compartment so that we can install this powertrain. Um, underneath you can see some of the detail of the hood. Um, again, we're known for stamping our parts and um, you can see all the engineering that goes into the crash and the durability of these things. So these special editions, uh, how special are they? How many, uh, can I get one? Yeah, so we're only going to be making 20 of each of the 20th anniversary uh, editions, which again is mostly the custom paint and kind of the badging and a few little tidbits. Um, but they're, uh, they're essentially versions of what we sell every day. They're just all the special coloring. So outside of the, outside of the uh, badging and stuff like that, someone could order a Jeep Wrangler just like this from their dealer? You could order it very similar. Um, right now we're keeping the wheels exclusive to this model. Um, and, you know, likewise, all the parts that are molded in dark gray, we're only running limited batches of these just for this version and for maintenance items in the future um, you know and it it's it might not be it might be hard to tell on TV but this dark gray finish is it, it adds kind of a, a whole nother level to the look of the truck um, it might look black on the on Facebook but it's uh, it's actually really nice in person All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, for giving us a walk around on these things here. Um, can people, if people are ready to buy right now, are there still any left, or are they? Uh, yep. Are they gone. They are available. They're all being sold through dealers, so we're not selling these retail. Um, so there's about a hundred dealers in the United States that are carrying these. Um, so only one in five will get one. Um, and I'm not sure if they're all sold. I don't think so yet. I think they don't launch actually until um, the NADA show in January. That's when the dealers will be able to get a lot of the cars. Um, so yeah, they're all still available, um, but they should probably talk to their dealer here shortly. Um, and I think we'll put some stuff up on the website uh, about the same time. All right, well, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Today we're gonna back up here and give you guys one more view of the two trucks together. And if uh, my battery holds out and our cell phone signal holds out. We're uh, out in Off Road Park here, out north of Los Angeles, and we're gonna do a bit of wheeling with these. So if we, if we can, we'll do another video shortly uh, with some actual some driving too, so you guys can see what these things can do. But for right now, thanks for tuning in, and uh, keep an eye on this page for more.